Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Belinda here from Visualized NZ. I'm going to be working today on Roxy's Weekly Challenge Week 11. So I'm running a little behind. I had hoped to catch up a bit last week, but haven't. And that's okay, it doesn't, doesn't matter, does it? So hopefully you will enjoy watching my version of this project. Uh, so Rachel made these trifold ephemera folder folio type things which is what I'm going to be doing. Uh, she used digitals of her beautiful Italian papers that she uh, had printed off. So what I did this morning is I went through my selection of antique music, sheet music, and chose out a couple to scan to use as the covers for these. So this one here is from 1905. And I just see that it didn't scan particularly well. It's a little blurry. So I'm going to have to rescan it. Because uh, I want to turn these into a digital for Etsy. Uh, so I'll rescan this because it's it didn't scan particularly well. But I'm going to go with it for this project. It'll be fine. Uh, so this one's 1905. And this one here is 1909. And aren't they gorgeous? Just the fonts, the decorations. They're just yummy. And then all the grime like from years and years a century over a century of being handled being stored in a piano stool or wherever um and just yeah beautiful i love the way the grime has sort of scanned as well so first off um my printer doesn't print borderless so i do have a border around them which i didn't actually notice until right now um, and I do want to shorten them just a tad anyway. I'm going to trim off these ends. Sorry that uh, I'm doing it on camera. I prepared my collage papers off camera, but didn't think about checking these. That's okay. We can deal with that. And I printed these onto my stone ground paper. Um, I'm not sure of the weight. It's definitely thicker than copy paper. I would probably say maybe 160 GSM at a guess. Um, I was, it came from um, a place my hubby worked when they changed their branding and didn't need it anymore. So I got it, but not in the original packaging. So I don't know, yeah, I don't know what weight it is or what it's called even. I don't know what brand the paper is because it came in just a, a box that it had been popped into. So, yes, I think if I just trim off these borders, it should be a fine height for my journal without cutting it down anymore. So we'll just run with that. And today I'm going to be using the All Things Journal, ah, All Things Journal, All Things Roses. We'll try that one, shall we? All Things Roses, uh, kits from the Junk Journal Studio. Uh, and this will go in my Rose Journal when I get it done. I'm dragging the chain a bit on it because I can't decide what I want to do for a cover. So in the meantime, I'm just kind of making bits and pieces to go inside it for that day when I actually get my act together and decide what I'm actually going to do. And I think part of the problem is that my sewing machine's packed away and I just can't face clearing a space to bring it back out and set it up to do a fabric cover. So then I'm like, what else am I going to do? I don't know. I'm running short on ideas. Um, I don't think I'm still completely operating normally in terms of my thinking. There's still a lot going on for us. Um, you know, it's, Georgie is still very much present in my thoughts. And I have moments where I just completely lose the plot, which takes me by surprise. Um, and that's okay. You know, it's life. We all have to deal with that at certain points. Um, 
but yeah there's a lot going on in family with health and things and yeah it's it's one of those things that's ever present in your mind and you try and turn off and do something but it's still there and occupying a certain amount of brain space Right, so they're trimmed up now. I managed to talk my way through the process. Hopefully it wasn't boring. So I want now to think about what I want to see on the front. We might end up trimming a bit more down. Um, so which way? Yeah, so this one I want to be showing, this end. So I am going to trim a bit more off it. Very thick paper, so I'm going to enlist my tool here. I don't want it that deep, so I'm going to trim a bit more off. Just, just a, that much. Half an inch or so. And then this one gets folded in almost to that crease. Yeah, looks good. Now I've got two bases for this uh, because I will make one for my dance journal as well, which again I'm in the same boat with the rose journal. I can't decide what I want to do for a cover. Um, but I'm not going to decorate this one. I've only got the stuff out for the rose journal. So I'll just make the base and decorate it off camera. Um, so I need to trim this one a bit as well. Because I think I'll have this bit showing on the front. So it's just a little flappy piece. And I might have to rescan this one because it does, or manipulate it so it's straight because it's it's not straight at the moment. This one is, I think, scanned pretty well. So all I need to do is straighten it in Photoshop so that it prints out nicely. So yeah, hopefully I'll get that digital done in April sometime. I've still got to finish off Dancer's Dream, the freebies to go with that, and that's my priority before I start a new digital kit. Right, so we've got our two bases. Now which one do I want for what? Has this one got any roses or flowers on it? It's got some viney kind of detail. But no real roses, and this one doesn't have any roses, so it doesn't matter. Let's just do this one for the rose journal. And we get to decorate it up. So Rachel snipped her corners here. I'm going to round mine. If I can get my punch board out. Around those two corners on the flap and also going to round and she rounded these corners she being Rachel um, rounded these corners so I'm going to round those as well Right, so I've printed off a few select pages from the kit and I, instead of printing these like I normally would on my presentation paper at the vivid setting, I've printed them on regular photocopy paper at standard setting. Uh, one, because I'm waiting to be able to buy some more ink because I'm running out of my magenta and there's quite a lot of magenta in this kit. Uh, and two, I wanted them to be slightly more subdued for this project. I didn't want them to be nice and bright and vivid for this. So by reducing the setting and printing on a lower quality paper, 
that gives me that kind of more subdued look to them which is absolutely perfect for what I was after so I chose out some coordinating papers a couple of pink ones and then the rest I went green uh, because I'm running out of magenta that's the one I'm the lowest on for my colors so I thought if I go more towards the green the minty color um, then I'll you know be able to print some more pages off before I run out for something else right so decorating I actually may not even need these um, let's go to the ephemera and I haven't finished cutting out everything yet so we'll just see what we've got here to play with and we may have to cut something else out or may not we've probably got plenty to work with it's got ber best birthday wishes I'm not sure if I want birthday on on here so there's all sorts of fun labels I like that one down there oh, this one's got a bit of blue and I don't know why I'm trying anything else because it's like any one of them would look cool although I like that it's a little bit brighter than this one so maybe I'll go with this one I felt this one perhaps blended too much so I'm gonna go ahead do I want to ink things I don't think I need to actually. I'm going to go ahead and just glue it down. And a rare first from me, I am choosing not to ink. I might ink around the edges of this, but I'm not going to ink this. So let's just play it by ear and see what I do or don't ink for this project. I'm covering over some cool grunge, but it's going to be a digital, so it's not not the end of the world. We can just reprint and use have that grunge appear in something else. Just boggles my mind that this music has been hanging around so long, and a lot of the music I've got is in really, really poor condition. Um, but it's I think it's even more beautiful because it's in such poor condition I think I'd like something bigger than that have I got bigger flowers cut out or are they still too cut out it's, I think I still need to cut those out all sorts of fun things to play with just super beautiful kit here we go, here's some of the bigger ones. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Let's grab this one. Need my fussy cutting scissors. And let's see how quick, time me, see how long I take. Hopefully I gave you enough time to start your timer. And she's off and racing. Zoomy, zoom, zoom. And that's where I go all fingers and thumbs and suddenly I can't hold a piece of paper properly because I'm under pressure. The things we do to ourselves. <laughs> If anyone does time me in doing this, tell me what how long it took. <laughs> I think it would be fun. And could be quite enlightening to see how much time it actually takes or how little. Because I'm, you know, when you're recording, you're super conscious of how long things take. Especially after the fact when you think, oh, that took way too long. I should have been lots quicker. Or in my case, I should have been lots quicker because you all know I'm not the fastest speediest crafter but I enjoy what I do and I love taking my time and pondering things it's just the way I work 
because I enjoy the process. And that's what it's about, isn't it? It's about enjoying the process. Not even really necessarily about the results. And that's why I think art and craft should both be. Is that you do it for love, for joy, for relaxation, to stimulate your mind. That seems oxymoron, doesn't it? To stimulate and to relax. But it just depends what activity you choose to do and what you need in that moment. Um, you know, it should be for all those good positive benefits. It shouldn't be stressy or anxiety inducing or depressing. It should allow you to process those emotions for sure. Healing, calming, fun. I want to cover over all the text that's my problem I start like not wanting to cover everything maybe that so we get a little peek of the rose and I'm not going to ink it I was like I'm going to ink it and then it's like no I'm going not going to Wow, what's happened to me, people? I'm not inking. This is miraculous. Small miracle, but nonetheless, it's so abnormal for me not to ink everything. But I want to put it down a bit because I quite like this price think that means four shillings and eight pence I'm guessing yeah I think that's that's cool and we want a little something up here we could put a little ticket we got there are little tea cards as well little ladies well the ladies aren't little it's just the tea cards are little that one just a little something in this slightly blank gap there so it's not really blank because it's got all the pretty grime in the background you probably can't see it on camera but there's little marks and discolorations and things in the background and then of course the paper's not white it's got that uh, black fleck on a cream base so really super pretty oh isn't that gorgeous even with this um scanning error here which I could then choose to put something over that and that will hide that so let's take a bit of this paper see I did print it for something I'm going to use a bit I'm just gonna tear a random bit which is too wide um Funny little pointy bit there. I'm going to throw that little fragment out. It's not good for anything. It's too small. Let's pop that there. I mean, in all honesty, that um, slight blurriness doesn't really bother me, even if I left it like that. Um, to me, it just kind of adds to the uniqueness of it. But I will fix it up for a digital kit because I might not mind it, but that's not to say that everybody will have the same opinion. So I'd rather it be a clean copy um, that then people can use and not have to worry about covering up if it bothers them.
so that's pretty um i think all rachel did on the back was just pop a, a piece on but i'm kind of wondering do i want to add something additional because i can just because i can without covering up too much i think that covers too much or we could pop something Fine concertina that kind of fits with the music doesn't it pop up here Beethoven's works I think down there playing with umpteen dozen arrangements So I watched this uh, Rachel's video a week ago, this uh, 11, number 11. And then silly me went ahead and watched number 12 as well. So when this morning it was like, right, I need to do a video on number 11. I was like, I can't remember what the project was because my mind had confused the two. And it's like, what what is number 11? What's the project? So I rewatched it this morning. No, I don't think it's needed. I think that's fine. We could pop a little. No, no, it's just the back. Like it's decorative as it is. Okay, to the inside then. Um, there are some pockets with the kit. I've just buried them. Sorry for reaching, but I've kind of almost shoved them off the end of the desk. Uh, retrieve them before they go flying these little pockets and so Rachel with hers did on one she did a side pocket and on one she did a bottom pocket here and I'm wondering about using these pockets as something just a wee bit different so I haven't made them up so let's make them up first yeah it's a bit cold it is not too bad outside, so I'm resisting lighting the fire, hoping that this afternoon it will warm up. We did go foraging last night, hubby and I, and picked up some pine cones and some branches, fallen, you know, just small fallen branches. Um, there's a pine, it's not really a plantation, well certainly a lot of the pines have been taken out. Um, but down at the beach, and it's not right on the beachfront, but it's back a little bit from the beach, and picked up some pine cones and some branches and bits and pieces that were just dead for um, trying to, you know, not get the, the salt encrusted stuff because that's not good for your fires. It's okay if you've got an open fire, but it's not good if you've got a metal firebox, which we do have oh that's not that's not folded over actually it wouldn't matter though because it is the back so it actually doesn't matter that doesn't meet as long as it closes it should be all fine and then i've mucked up that that's all right we'll just trim it's my folding it's not the pocket it's just the way i've folded it and i've made a real <laughs> interesting job of the folding but it's okay. Now here I do want to ink the back of that pocket that shows. Oops, I think I need to put it on, on here so I can press down and just grime that up a bit where that shows in this little thumb notch there. Okay, there's that one. I've got three of these. Uh, there's the pink one, a yellow one, and a more peachy pink one. So I haven't really got a lot of yellow going on, so maybe I just want to use two. Let's see if I can do a better job of folding this one. I have my doubts. 
it's okay. I was sure I heard someone come in the cat door. Maybe it was the next door neighbor's kid who likes to come in and eat our cat food. Because they haven't come in any further and it was a very quiet cat door opening so I suspect it was the neighbor's kid. Kid being cat. Yep, no, my folding is off today. We'll just trim it up, make it work. Shortest route to making it work. And if we just do a, like a double stack pockets, I think that'd be really cute. So let's sink this one. Oops, need a bit more ink, I think. Yep, perfect. Let's glue them together. And I am going to leave the background as is on this side. Because it's good writing space. So you can write around the pockets. Um, did I want to do it like as a side pocket as well? We need to put this one down first. Um... thinking about I think I'm going to leave it open on this side so we could tuck something else in make it a double pocket and do the same with the bottom but reverse the side that's open this one's going to go over that way so we've got a pocket here and then we've got a pocket here which will be slightly smaller because this is going to sit over top oh I perhaps should have put that a bit lower but never mind because we've got a gap down here it's writing space it's not the end of the world we'll just call it writing space Oops, I've got a little crunchy there because I folded it badly so let's just trim a bit off there if I can get my scissors in. Everything's fixable, guys. Even a bad folding job. So I've got to go out this afternoon for a quick, relatively quick little errand. Um, so that's fine quite looking forward to I, it's something I do every Tuesday now and I quite look forward to it although last week when I went out I ended up with a sudden onset migraine like I was in the middle of doing something squeezing a bottle actually sque squeezing dressing out of a big two litre bottle into jars for people and um, sudden onset migraine that just had me holding my head swaying on my feet and everybody was very concerned and they got me a seat and got me a glass of water and I sat there for a, a while. Right, so I want this side to be open this time. Um, and I sort of sat there and drank my water and sort of waited till it abated just a tad. And I still had other errands to run that day. So I, they wanted to drive me home and stuff like that. I was like, no, I need to... I need to do what I need to do so I did my errands quickly and got home and had a drink and just rested because it was not nice and I continued to have a strong headache for another few days after that but fortunately not as strong as the migraine but boy that was nasty so got a side pocket here pocket here pocket here and pocket there and then you've got writing space in and around it as well. Push that cold, 
coldness in the air making my nose be silly and I've almost finished my coffee just let me have the last little sip mm. oh that was stone cold coffee oh yeah Yeah, I guess it cools down quicker when the air's cold around you. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't mind cold coffee quite so much as cold tea, so I'm glad it was coffee. Did I get in? Ah, oh, that's right. It's only glued at the top. It's open at the side. Silly Billy. Okay, so that's that side. Now, the other thing Rachel did was add in some papers that can be removed. Um... Do I want to do that? I haven't grabbed out any papers. Um, she also put book page in behind. I'm sorry, I'm using she a lot, aren't I? But um, so let's grab a book page, a bit of encyclopedia paper. It's got a nice creamy colour to it. I don't actually know when the how old this is. Um Let's just do a quick wee look, see if I can see. 1950. So it's a little bit more modern than our, um, our sheet music cover here. Let's trim it to size. It's very thin paper, this. So if you can compare this to show you the colour of both this and this, compare that with the white. See how beautiful the colour is? It's definitely not white. Sulfo sulfonamide drugs. Mm. Okay. You know what you're going to read in... Uh, Encyclopedia, do you? Right, take off that top bit as well. And it's too wide, so we need to trim some. Or oh, we could wrap it, actually. Why not wrap it onto the inside of the flap? We can do that. Why not? And then tear off a bit at the bottom. Right, this is probably ideally something that should be glue sticked. And it's going to make it curly, I think. And it's going to be a pain because it's so big. But let's do it. Let's do it, people. Especially because it's going to go around that fold. I think glue stick's just going to give it better coverage than my tacky glue. Right, I think I got pretty good coverage there. Kind of centering it as best I can. Scraps, don't need those right now. Um, I am going to put a pocket down the bottom. What paper would I like to use? This is beautiful, lacy pattern on the green. But I really like this one. Sort of like a pressed metal um, design, but in green. So we need to go to kind of line it up. Maybe if I put 
put it right in the crease then that might oops oh my goodness how not to do things put the uh, then open it back up and hold it so it doesn't shift and my crease is there So I'm using the pattern on the paper to line it up. Hopefully the pattern's straight. Okay, so just making sure it fits. Yes, it does fit in between. And I'm going to go about making it slightly taller because I'm going to fold down the top for reinforcing it. And it's not straight, but I wasn't worried about that because it's going to be tucked under. As long as I get the top line straight once it's folded. So just use my mat there to kind of gauge that. Just going to give a wee snip on these corners so they don't end up showing. Just on that flappy bit that I'm folding under. Glue. Right. Now before I glue it in, I want to really make sure that I don't it in the wrong place so I do need to fold this because I don't want my pocket to fold around onto the flap because I don't think that would work very well at all and don't glue your pocket upside down either it's not going to do yep so that's good there uh, glue lid on my glue stick for now now puss just come in but um, he makes a particular sound when he comes in the, the cat flap and that wasn't the sound I heard earlier it was a much softer very cautious sound so I'm betting it was smoky from next door that was trying to come in and heard me talking it was like oh I'm backing out of here there's somebody home because he knows he's not supposed to but he does <laughs> especially when at night you know quite often if one of us gets up to the toilet in the middle of the night um, we have to go through the kitchen to get to the bathroom and um, we'll start heading towards the kitchen and hear the cat flap go at a big rate of knots because he's been startled and takes off because he knows he's a lovable rogue we don't really mind but you know we have enough cats of our own to feed even if we are one down there oh that's pretty let's do that oops if i don't drop it on the floor that is now Puss is sitting in the chair beside me looking at me. And I'm not going to look at him because he'll take that as an invitation to come and jump on my desk. Must be getting towards lunchtime and he's like, I'm ready for my lunch, Mum. Well, we'll have to wait. And I don't think it is quite lunchtime. Yeah, he settled down there to wait for me, so that's good. As long as he doesn't disappear before I feed him, because he does that sometimes, he gives up waiting. But if we feed him too soon, even though he's asking for it, he doesn't eat at all. And then when he comes back, he's hungry again, but doesn't want the food that's been sitting there for however long in between. So it's like, it's better to, to make him wait a bit so he actually eats what he's given. Oh, that's pretty. I'm feeling like we need to add a word or something because we haven't done any words. Um, just a small word, I think. Do we want, or a phrase? I 
that sweet fragrance. And he's gone out. Just like I was saying. He's given up waiting. So it is a little early though, so he might be back at the appropriate time. Oops, gosh, I'm dropping things today. Fortunately, I'm catching them in my lap, but yeah, that's lovely. I just really like I like the three together too. It's just it is very pleasing on the eye. Here we go. So, papers. Um, um, um. Wasn't really prepared for that. I thought I was prepared, but not for that. What can I find? Well, first off, I have this awesome bit of yellowed fox newspaper that was in a box of books that I bought home. Um, it's not actually super old. It's from 1988, I believe. Yeah, December 1988. So, I mean, I say not that old, but it is getting on a bit. Um, but it's just crunchy and fun. So, oops, well, I didn't hear that very well. It's going to take a section of that. So the idea, what Rachel did was a mix of kind of collage style papers and writing papers that could be taken out and used so it's a little bit wide for my folder here so I'm just going to take off this blank edge although it's kind of cool isn't it but never mind I've got to make it smaller so I just might keep that put it in my um, collage phone book so we can put that um, just hunting in my bags for other options and put a bit of old poetry book there and a different poetry book I'm just kind of filching out of my stash. Again, this needs to be slightly trimmed down, but not by a lot. So I'm just going to take this edge here. This is creamy paper too, actually, this one. And this one is whiter, but not stark white. Um, which edge do we want to take? one and is it too tall no it's not too tall I've got those random bits and how about a bit of something we can write on a bit of coffee dyed paper And instead of tearing that down, I'm just going to fold it up. Now I've got a funny story to tell you in a moment. And then this fun... We're just going to fold that over. And put that in. There. So that should be adequate. Those few bits of paper. Now, you may remember talking about my stapler, if you're a regular, and how I could not find my staples for my stapler. Well, while I was looking for my sheet music, I came across a, a box with a few odds and ends in it. Not my staples, no. And I thought, okay, well, I can grab those out and put them in my drawers and use them, because they're things that I can use now. And have a, I can 
you know put them away rather than just floating in a random box just making sure everything folds up yeah and so I was brought the things into where I work here and was putting them away and I opened the drawer and one of the things I found was my long acrylic stamping block and I went to tuck it in with my other blocks and had to move something out of the way to put it in what did I have to move out the way? My staples. They were right there, under my nose. They couldn't have been closer to my hand whenever I looked through my drawers looking for my staples. Utterly ridiculous that I just did not see them. Right, okay, so they're going to go there, but I don't want staples on the back here. So my idea here, and I... Rachel did um, holes with a bit of string and used a staplerless stapler, uh, which I don't have. So I thought, why not make a little kind of cappy piece to go over the top and then glue that in. Um, actually think about this think about it very carefully so if that goes underneath can I staple that how am I going to staple that because I haven't got a very long reach stapler can I get, oh I, can, I think I can so I'm going to put, make sure it's right. I can always refold it, I guess. Don't worry about it too much. Bit fiddly, just folding that slightly so I can get my stapler in. I'm going to put a couple of staples. So you can tear out these pages and use them however you would like. And this folds over top. I didn't want the staples on top here either. So I thought if I make this a little bit longer so that it drapes over top and again is a bit of paper that you could use. Um, just think I want to round the corners on this little flap just for presentation. And then it matches the pocket down below too, doesn't it? So I'm just again making sure everything is within the folds. Yep. Okay, and so I don't have to worry about it shifting. I'm going to hold it and glue it so hopefully it glues okay with those lumpy staples there and that's why I left plenty of a flap so that I've got plenty to anchor it with good amount of glue I'm getting hungry now. It must be getting close to lunchtime. So, I have staples back in my stapler. <laughs> After weeks, it's been a few weeks that I haven't been able to find my staples. And it's just like, they're right there. How could I not see them? Just so silly. But I'm happy that I did find them this morning. It's like, yay! I don't have to go out and buy new staples. Not yet, anyway. Because I've got them there. And there's still quite a lot in the packet. So. Right. So there we go. That's the inside. Of course. Still need to fill the pockets. So I'm not going to do that on camera. Um, it's going to take too long. To do that. But they can be filled with journal cards. Or tags. Or ephemera. Of whatever sort one desires. Um, I think I will ink around the edges of the whole thing. Which I will do off camera as well. I think it will look good 
Right, the other thing that Rachel did was a tab on here, a whale tail. So I am going to do that. Um, I did have a scrap of a thicker paper. This has got yellow on it. Do we want, I think, I, do I have a scrap of the pink as well? Yes, I do. This is on my presentation paper, so I thought it might just be a bit better for a tab. Let's punch a whale tail. See if we can fold it straight because my folding skills today haven't been awesome. <laughs> and I do think I want to ink around this. Brushy brush brush. Done. Okay, where would I like it? Pop it up the top or down in this gap here. Kind of like how it fills that gap actually. Let's turn it up the right way so I can actually see a bit better though. I don't think it really matters. I don't want it in the middle of the rows. That would look a bit silly. I could put it down the bottom here in the middle of the label though. That's quite pretty as well. But I think I'm going to put it in that gap. Okay. Made a decision. Woohoo. It takes a while sometimes. there will be fine I am putting plenty of glue in this space where they join because we have one more step to do I want to make sure it sort of doesn't have any gaps in the glue so give it a press and spread that glue out so that helps decorate the inside of that as well of that book page we need to give it a moment for that glue to dry before I punch a hole in it. I just love how that music paper looks. That makes me so, so happy. Is anyone after digital of um, antique music or antique music covers? It's not the music itself, but the just the cool fonts and things. Because I'm excited to get that done. But first things first. I need to finish the Dancer's Dream um, freebies. That should have been out well and truly. But there's just been so much going on. And I haven't had the headspace to work as I was planning. Uh, you know. It just, it's just how it goes. Now I did grab out two of these. Because I've got the other one to do. But I won't be doing the other one just yet. So you only need one. Right, big hole is what we need, and I'm hoping that this is, I'm going to do it slightly up towards the top of the tab. I want to do it down onto the book page, onto the, this. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter, whoops, that's not where the hole is. Let's just go there. Oops, and yeah, I didn't wait long enough. It wasn't, it's not quite dry. Good enough. Okay, so put our eyelet in. I'm choosing to use an eyelet with a washer because I love the look and the finish. Make sure the washer's up the right way. Base, turn it around that way. Getting everything lined up and on without falling out is the other trick though. And squeeze and done. Oh, isn't that fun? And then we can tie it up with something. Embroidery thread would be quite nice. 
but I am going to use string. And probably got way too much length there, but never mind. Um, I'm just going to do a single line. You could loop it through there and do a double double string. In fact, maybe I should have. I don't know. This will be too short to do that with. Let's have a look and see what we... So I can do a loop, put the ends through that, and then bring that around and tie it off. Actually, I probably do prefer that. So let's start again. That'll be for something else. Need to make sure it goes around. Probably again too long, but in mind, any offcuts are usable for anything else. Lots of other things. So it won't be wasted. You could also put a dangle or something on there. It would be really pretty. Or do I want to do one string around one way and one around the other? Oh my goodness, there's so many decisions. Could do it this way. Let's just tie it this way because I've, I've rather than fluff around anymore. So a choice of how you tie it. I'm just going to do this for now. And do it into a bow. And just let the ends dangle where they will at whatever length because that allows it to grow too once we've added things in the pockets i think that is so pretty that is so so pretty i love it and that's going to go in the all things roses journal and then i'll do up this one with the dancer's dream kit which is my one and that will go in the dancer's dream kit once it's done okay that's roxy's weekly challenge week 11 i can check it off the list Thanks so much for joining me, my friends. I hope you enjoyed my take on this particular project. Do recommend giving it a go. If you don't have anything like these papers, you can use whatever you've got. You can use um, any digital. You could use a book page, something pretty. But I will be releasing a kit with these, uh, hopefully before the end of April. So take care, my friends. Have a great day, and I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then.